Welcome to Friday's edition of Renew. I'm Pastor Tony. Thanks for joining us and let's get right into it today. We're in a series entitled Faith 101, discussing the foundational principles of living a lifestyle of strong, effective faith. You know that is possible. The problem again is not that you don't have faith or have weak faith. The problem is you have faith that's misdirected, that's focused on the wrong thing. And Jesus said, have faith in God. So God needs to be the centerpiece and the center focus of our faith if we want to have a lifestyle of strong, effective faith. Now this week we've been talking about two things, two aspects about God that we need to clear up and establish in our thinking, in our minds, in our hearts in order to have that strong, effective faith, that focused faith. First of all, we talked about the fact that God is able. We that is you know it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out just look outside the creation and pretty soon if, if you believe that god is the creator and he created everything you can reason pretty quickly that god can take care of whatever's going on in your life but the second thing that we've been talking about is where most people have the hang-ups of their faith and that is on the reality that god is willing god is willing to use his power ability and resources on our behalf even though we didn't deserve it or earn it in any way See, God has chosen to deal with us according to grace. See, we need to have that understanding of grace in our heart because grace is God's willingness to freely give to us, provide for us, and do for us what we cannot do, what we cannot earn or deserve or merit in any way. But the reason most people have a problem with that issue right there is because they somehow in their own, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, I haven't done enough. I haven't performed enough. I haven't done enough good deeds. I haven't earned enough. So you go down that road and you hit a dead end street. And we need to somehow detach our performance with receiving from God. God is not giving to us according to what we earn or deserve or merit. He is giving us to us according to his graciousness, according to his grace. So that's why we need to have our faith squarely on God, squarely on the grace of God. Now in Ephesians chapter two, it says it this way. In uh, verse number uh, five, it says, even when we were dead in trespasses, he made us alive together with Christ. So notice that your performance, your merits had nothing to do with what God did right here because we were dead in trespasses but yet God made us alive together with Christ. It says, by grace you have been saved, and he raised us up together, and he made us to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Now that's not a place you earned or deserved, that's a place that God freely gave you in Christ because of his grace. Verse seven goes on to say that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. Now notice that right there, that God is wanting to show you, demonstrate to you through the ages to come, the riches of his free grace and his kindness of heart toward us in Christ Jesus. So God is not wanting to deal with us, save us, uh, relate to us, be in our life, give to us according to what you've done or deserved or merited not according to your performance. You need to get you off of your mind when it comes to believing and receiving from God. You need to get you out of the focus of your faith. You're not even in there anyway. You shouldn't be even on the radar screen anywhere. No, God is the only one that should be in the radar screen of our faith, in the focus of our faith. Because we get ourselves on, on our mind, our, our faith in ourselves and our performance and our ability to earn God's good things that he wants to give to us, then we've gotten off with that and we're not gonna receive from him. We've gotten derailed, we've hit a dead end street. No, God in, in, wants to give us freely all these things in Christ, but they all come through grace and it all comes by our faith accessing everything that God's given us by grace. It goes on in verse eight, it says, for by grace you have been saved through faith and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. So notice right there, salvation and everything we have in life, everything we're gonna receive in life comes through this avenue of grace. And again, grace is God's willingness 
to give us, to use his power, ability, and resources on our behalf, even though we didn't deserve it, earn it, or merit it in any way. Verse 9 says, not by works lest any man should boast. Uh, that tells us right there that works have nothing to do with it. Our, ourself should not be on in the focus of our faith in receiving from God. It all comes by his grace. Faith accesses the grace of God. You know, that really takes us to a place where we can believe God for the impossible. He told a man who brought his boy to Jesus one time in Mark chapter nine, he says, if you can believe all things are possible to him that believes. And of course the man said, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. What he was saying is, Lord, I believe in my heart, help my unbelief in my head. In other words, he had doubts in his head, but down in his heart, he had faith. You know, the reason he had doubts in his head was because he had the focus on the wrong thing. He had focus on the wrong things, on the seen realm, on the deserved realm. And of course, faith goes beyond the seen. It goes beyond what you personally deserve and earn. It goes into the realm of God's grace and how he freely gives to us in Christ Jesus. You know, it's the reason that John chapter one, verse 16 and 17 says that Jesus came full of grace and truth. And then he did all these things for people freely. Not a, one person deserved or earned anything, merited anything that Jesus did for him. Not a healing, not a blessing, not any favor. God, Jesus did it willingly because he came to demonstrate the grace of God. God's willingness to get involved in our life and make them better and bring wholeness and peace into our life. Well, that's all the time I've got for today and for this week. If you'd like additional resources and materials, go to TonyCowan.org. We'll see you next week.